Okay. Are we back? Yeah. All right. So, <laughs> overtime. Oh, I remember the, new, the guy from the beginning comes over. We haven't done this in a while. It's coming back to me. I remember you. You were on the beginning of the show. <laughs> Okay, for the panel, is the mainstream media being unnecessarily harsh to President Biden? Well, apropos of what I was just talking about, um, I don't know. What do you think? I would say yes. The Biden presidency has been far more successful than the media has made it out to be. I mean, he passed the bipartisan infrastructure investment at a time when bipartisanship has never been more elusive. We've seen the fastest decline in unemployment to 3.9 percent. We've seen the fastest rate of economic growth in nearly four decades. We've seen the creation of more than six million jobs. It's far from perfect, but by every objective, by most objective metrics, it's been a success. So, but, so why is his number so in the toilet? Look, I, I think we live in a hyper-polarized political climate in which each political party has a perverse incentive to portray the other as the root of all evil and claim that the apocalypse is lurking at every moment. And just given the polarization in America, there's going to be a ceiling on how popular every future president will be, unfortunately. But, okay, that's the... I get that the Republicans, he's not going to get that 50 percent. But he's not doing great with the Democrats either. And he's no. doing terribly with independents. I mean, I look at Glenn Youngkin's victory for the governorship in Virginia, a state Whoa. that went 10 points for Biden. Why did he win? Because the new swing voter, it's not the soccer mom, it's the COVID mom, it's people who are absolutely enraged that two years into this virus, things still haven't gotten back to normal. Their kids are suffering learning loss and depression. Yes. They're watching what their kids are learning on Zoom, and it's like, you know, anti-racism, but it's kind of neo-racist. Um, and crime, and, right. and the, the things that have sort of become untouchable for Democrats to talk about. I, they should be running away with this right now. Why aren't they? I, I think any president would have a tough time with this pandemic. And the, the longer the pandemic goes on, the harder it is for any head of state to be popular. And I think this will probably turn around in, in, in six months. But, I mean, the, the other thing which I think is going on here is that a president is judged by laws. You, may, you mentioned two very important ones. If the Democrats had two more senators, we'd be living in a transformed country, and I think Biden would be a much more popular president. Hmm. Okay. Um, why isn't Trump in jail yet? I know, you're going to applaud. Um, <laughs> All the crimes he's committed were done in plain sight and on national TV. Well, that's ridiculous. Hardly all the crimes he's committed. <laughs> uh, I mean, but yes, I, I... I always said that was his, his... You know, I always say, he's not only stupid, he's crazy. You have to understand that about Trump. He's stupid and crazy. The crazy part is, like, he just speaks his interior monologue. He said recently... Just like a few days ago, he said something about uh, it's not who votes, who counts the votes. I mean, <laughs> Stalin used to say it, but privately. <laughs> Stalin said it privately. He says it right out. And there's something about that. When you do a crime in public, people don't think it's a crime. It's like the guy who cheats on his wife at the middle of the restaurant with some... Honey, would I be... If I was <laughs> fucking her, would I be eating with her at the most popular restaurant in town? <laughs> you know? But, it, that's his... Cra the crazy works for him. But we're, I mean, it's a sign of... I mean, sadly, I think it's a sign of how we're between two stools as a country. If we were, you know, a, if we were a proper authoritarian regime and you carried out a failed coup, something very bad would happen to you, right? Right. <laughs> right. We're not there Right, he tried... Yet. Right. In if Turkey... We were, if we were a proper rule of law state... Right, right. ...and you carried out a failed coup, you would be prosecuted, as happens in other democracies. You're so... We are somewhere in between. Right. That is our problem. You're right. Turkey, they tried one on Erdogan a couple of years ago. Remember that? Yeah. And those people are not sitting home watching Shark Tank. They're, 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 they are dead or in jail, yes. I mean, he was ruthless about that. And you're right, we're in the middle. So we, yeah, we, because that was a coup attempt and it doesn't matter. He's still out there. Anything else? Is that enough? Uh, over time or do we... <laughs> I think over time is short now. Should we go back to West Side Story? <laughs> All right, thank yeah. you very much. <laughs>